they are describing this as unlivable. Firefighters in KCK say 15 out of 18 of their stations, 15 out of 18, don't meet cold and are in need of massive renovations. The union representative addressed unified government leaders this week, saying something has to be done. And now 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake brings us this report. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. It's they've let it go on so long now that it is a major problem. Bob Wing, who represents the International Association of Firefighters Local 64, says it will take a lot of money to repair KCK's fire stations, but it needs to happen. He says 15 of the 18 stations don't meet code. Nothing's been done. And this has been known since at least 2015, when a study found that many of the stations need significant upgrades. Wing says the Argentine station has mold. The retaining wall at the station at 81st and Leavenworth is still crumbling. 41 Action News covered that issue in spring 2018. Wing says station 20 at 78th and Kansas is structurally unsound to the point it could collapse. And station 17 has critter issues. I mean, when you have wild animals falling through your ceilings, in the middle of the night and they're living in the attic and you know what, you don't do anything about it. Wing spoke at a unified government committee meeting this week and hopes his issues make it to the full commission. Uh, we're aware of the uh, uh, conditions of our uh, fire stations and uh, we're trying to diligently address that situation, those situations as we see uh, as a priority. Assistant Fire Chief Morris Letcher says it comes down to money issues or contractors issues. Some things just take longer than others. Um, when the, with the animal situations at Station 17s, uh, we immediately uh, contact the animal control and a critter company to come in and rectify that problem. A timeline to get all these repairs done is unknown, but Letcher said this. The fire department, we don't take it lightly. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. The union representative says the ongoing issues are embarrassing at best and the firefighters should be commended for having to live in these conditions. Unified Government Committee did not take any action on Wing's comments this week.